So, guys, this is the Flying Slow Bro, and we're about to do my first thoughts on the Unaware House. So, it's a lot, well, it's the closest, well, I've actually seen it. Well, I played this, the data kind of got erased, so. Um, this is gonna, this is gonna be, uh, I haven't gotten through all of it yet, though. Welcome to the Unaware House, it says. Now, I will read your minds. Ah, hmm. You're looking for something, am I right? That's right, you're amazing. So does that mean you know what we're looking for? Um, true love maybe? We'll look for that somewhere else. We're looking for the scientorium. We heard it is in the warehouse. In this warehouse. Oh really, truth is I can't read minds one little bit. I usually get the first one right, so I thought I'd give it a try. Scientorum is just through the passage on the second floor. So we got hard hats from the chest. Now let's battle this guy. Electric. Um, but I ended up here. I don't care who I battle anymore. One battle, hit yes. Are you sure? Okay, I'll start. You see, I powered up to pick the map. And so you can eat to the bigger electrode. Electric kind of looks like he, I forget this. Oh, this electric ball is a buzz of all an electric. They look quite. They look quite similar. So, all you have to do to be electric is kind of charge out, dodge his moves, and just can't do that. That's the best strategy for battling in this game. So that's how you to be electric, I guess. So this you moved around relentlessly and dodged my moves. Hmm. Could you be the famous shining collectors? I get it. No wonder the battle was challenging. Battle me again sometime. So, I'm going to show you a little easter egg they discovered when I was playing this last time, before my data got erased. First we have to change in the Snivy to get over these boxes. So, get a big, and here's the little easter egg. See, this is the Easter egg. You wind up in the sewers. There's a vast white quill over here. That you kind of collect. I'm not sure why yet, but then you switch into Oshawa. You can cross the sewer. Then you battle Duskull. And then you open the chest. It says, I've left the, ma the mansion where I used to live and I've been traveling around. Yeah, in the first game, this is the second game, by the way, um, in the first game, um, there's a place called the Haunted Mansion, where you battle, where you're there and kind of battle a bunch of Pokemon and that kind of thing, and this guy lived there, it says, it says, I, it now it says, I've left the mansion where I used to live and I've been traveling around, this proves that it's the same world, I feel a nostalgic atmosphere in the back of the warehouse, will you battle with me to end my boredom? Yes, and then things just I'll start. So 
So, if you knock him into the water, the match is over pretty much because he's a ghost type. And ghost types can't spawn. Because I, I lost. I guess I should find another way to end my boredom. Appreciate your company. Now, you can open the treasure chest. Oh, and that guy, that guy appeared. His name is Dust Noyor. See, how many berries do I get from this thing? Oh, I got aroma candles this time. Cool. Holding the camera with my knees, by the way, in case you're wondering. And my, if, you, if you're wondering what my camera equipment is, once I get six subscribers, I'll tell you. I'm gonna go Tepig. We're gonna do one more battle. Let's see. Uh, how about Sneasel? Yeah. But I snuck in to find something interesting if there's nothing here. Cite me with battle. Yes, it says, if the battle is boring, I won't forgive you. That's what he says. Okay, that's all the battles I have time for right now, and this has been walkthrough part one, so goodbye!